What is going on everybody? It's David Palmer, Leo King, and this is my show, Uncut Astrology, where I take off the mask and go deep behind the veil and give you this week's astrological forecast for the week of November 9th through the 15th of 2017. Thanks so much for being here and thanks for being a part of the Leo King app. Well, we got some big stuff coming up this week with Jupiter and Venus in a big conjunction. I'm really looking forward to this one. Venus and Jupiter really like each other. They really want to open up lots of doors and there's a big trine to Neptune with this aspect, all happening in water signs. And this is all while the sun's still in Scorpio and the sun's going to square the moon in Leo this week. So there's a lot of hunger, desire, wanting to do things, wanting to bridge into new doors, new possibilities, new things. And and I think a lot of it is got to be spiritually related. If it's not spiritually related, if it's just based off some sort of escape or just based off something that you just, you know, you just want for fun, you know, and it it doesn't have a higher purpose because of the Pluto sextile sun transit this week that's happening in Capricorn and the sun in, in Scorpio, I think that there's a lot saying the big powerful doors that open of our wants and needs have to be towards our spiritual doors, have to be towards things that are positive for us, that are good for us, that are good for the collective, but aren't you know, going to demolish us. Because one thing of Jupiter conjunct Venus trying Neptune is, boy, oh boy, people could just fall into old traps or go into things where it's like, ah, oh, yeah, this is just for some sort of toxic satisfaction. I think that there's aspects of that that can come up this week, especially as I I think the word suppressed is a good word. We all are just ready to fly. Mercury and Sagittarius now, it's starting to really come fast. You know, we got Mars and Libra and Mercury, which are finally going to make their perfect sextile and getting really close to that. Wanting to make things happen, wanting to initiate, wanting to move things forward. There's a lot this week about moving a lot of things forward. Out of nowhere, just like wham, bam, things are moving forward. This is coming up. This is happening. And this big square of the moon in Leo to the sun in Scorpio has a lot to do with it. It's a driving force. It's a, it's a magnetic kind of energetic force that's really, I think, forcing us to really, you know, power ourselves up. This is a huge power zone, even though our weaker spots in our chart in our life are happening with Mars, Mercury, and Venus all in detriment. It truly does bring out this part of us that goes, oh, am I sure that I'm going to be able to do this? Am I sure I'm going to be able to handle this? This is our hunger that will outdo that. It just needs to be driven in the right direction. It needs to be consciously understood. This is a very important and tricky moment because be careful what you wish for. Jupiter and Venus, a lot to me, is Cinderella um, story. It's um, the fairy uh, that, that taps you and gives you what you're looking for, but is it the best for you or not? You know, Neptune and Pisces is stopping, right? And Neptune and Pisces is ready to come direct here, especially coming up. You know, like when we come to the end of this week, right? So Neptune's still retrograde, which I think is very interesting. But it comes direct in the week that follows on the 21st. So 21st and 22nd. So if we think about this, you know, we're just a couple weeks away from Neptune turning online the sun getting into Sagittarius, there's some big changes happening that are about really flying into other dimensions, other worlds, and now this is the moment to really capitalize. But you gotta be careful of how you capitalize. You know, making sure that this door is the good for you. And when I say the collective, Neptune is the collective unconscious, but I also believe that Neptune can be the collective conscious as well. It's kind of funny that it can be both at the same time. Are you doing things that are just part of your unconscious behaviors, your unconscious hungers, or are these conscious hungers, conscious wants, conscious desires, conscious needs, ones about inspiring? There's this Leo aspect that with the North Node here and the Sun going to square the nodes, about choosing our destiny, choosing a destiny towards what inspires us, what we want to show the world, what we want to show our heart with, what we want to show our power with, or is it aspects of ourselves that we're like, eh, I just want this because I want this. And I only want it to look this way because it'll satisfy me in this way. 
Or is it bringing up unconscious behaviors as well? You know, Venus and Jupiter trying Neptune is a big one. All three of them are in a party and love each other and they're all in water signs and they're all in trying. So there's a love fest going on in the astrology this week for doors opening up. And trust me, it has been very rare in the astrology for doors to open up. This is also some of the final moments here of Saturn in Sagittarius about opening up powerful doors that are going to be uh, a bridge for you. And this is all before the Mercury retrograde that starts at the beginning of December. So I'll be honest with you, if there was any week of all weeks to open up the doors and pull the levers, pull them now, pull them, pull them, pull them, pull them. Because you know, when you look forward, you go, oh, then we come into clashes and then we come into stops and then we come into things. And I know that it could feel like a lot of pressure a pressure to pull when you're unsure about it. You don't think you're going to be able to. But this Mercury Mars, it's saying we got to. This Venus Jupiter, it's saying it's time to open the doors. But you know, are you going to be able to do it? I think that you will. I, I just think that there's a lot in your inner world that you're going to have to see on your own self-worth, trusting in your abilities. This is a huge trusting in your abilities and making you feel like, oh, I don't know if I can trust in my abilities. I don't know if I'll be able to pull it off. I don't know if I can do that. I don't know if I have the power to make that happen. You might be surprised that you are able to. But also, you know, the, the problem with a Neptune transit to anything is, you know, the unconscious parts of ourselves that really might believe that we can't might throw in your face, you know, that you can't because you believe that. So this is a very important week to also look at your belief structures and how well deep down inside you really truly believe that you'll be able to move forward, that you'll be able to do the things that you want, that you'll be able to make the change that you want in your life and go towards things that are going to be higher on the scale of things. This is also Saturn trine Uranus. These are huge evolutions and stuff that we need to take in our life. These are huge evolutions and step in our life that are going to change us forever as far as reinventing our structures, reinventing our beliefs, reinventing who we are as a self and rising our personas to next levels, rising our ambitions, our goals, our beliefs to higher levels. This is a week of higher levels as a whole. This is a week of raising the bar to the highest extent. And you know, it's all before things kind of clog up and major shift points happen and the next five year shift that's coming that's going to have everything that I talk about in my awesome, awesome Rising Through the Darkness next five years video, which you can now download at InclusiveAstrology.com. So pretty cool because I go into what the next five years is and then the five years after that, Saturn, Pluto, and what that all means, especially mixed with Jupiter, especially mixed with the South Node and how that's all happened within, you know, the last time it happened was in the 1200s with all that energy. So it's really interesting to see, but um, here it is, folks. Here it is. You know, it's a big, big doors are opening right now, big change, the biggest that you've seen in a long time. And I think there's a lot of fear that even though you're facing and you think it's going to go bad, it's not. You got to trust that you can face your fears and not scare your own self. Thanks so much for all your support. I truly appreciate it. Hope you get that pay-per-view, uh, you know, or the recording of the conference that I did, the horoscope for the next five years. It's an awesome, awesome two-part video that you can download. And of course, we'll send you to the group and send you how to watch the video anytime you want. You can watch it on your phone, anywhere. It's super easy. It's all, I mean, you got to make sure you have a Facebook though. So even if you got to just make up a Facebook to get on there, that, that's how it works. That's how I've set this thing, whole thing up. So you don't have to download anything. You can stream it. It's pretty awesome. And of course, if you want to get my November horoscope, it is at uh, inclusiveastrology.com. If you want to be part of the Leo King app, join now because I am putting this video on YouTube to help people because this is just, whenever it becomes so ma magical like this and so big, like sure, you got to be cautious of, of opening doors, but I'll be at, at the same time, I'm like, this is it. You got to open them. You just got to make sure that they're aligned for you correctly in your soul, that you, you understand what your investing in energetically and the requirements that it is, but it's all about trusting in your values and your instincts, but more importantly, trusting in your abilities more than ever. Thanks so much for your support. I will see you next week.